Well, in this video, I'll be sharing my TVA for the month of June and it's the Pride Month. So I thought let's pick those books revolving around that theme. So in this one, I'll be picking up six books that are revolving around Pride and Pride theme. And I wanted to read these books from so long. Also two books towards the end of this video that are just random picks. And I'll be like stating all those reasons why I've been picking those books. But before that, let's roll the intro. We'll later jump into this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my new video. I hope everyone's doing absolutely fine. For those who do my channel, I'm the woman. You'll find book reviews, unboxings, vlogs, and a lot many other fun stuff related to books and fandom. So if you're in that kind of stuff, you can hit the subscribe button. And now let's start this video. Well, now starting with that list, I wanted to share with you all. And the first in the same is Heartstopper Volume Four by Alice Oseman. So this is one of those books that I was looking forward to read from so long. I think it is released in this year in Feb or maybe March. And I'm talking about the Volume Four. I've already read the first three volumes, and it's a amazing feel-good graphic novel series which talks about friendship. So without spoiling anything, like I will not be discussing blurb of Volume Four. I'll be discussing the general story that is taking place in this book that is from the Volume One. So starting with the same, so this series follows two kids named Charlie and Nick. Both of them don't know each other at the very start of this book. And Charlie is someone who is kind of a reserved person, whereas Nick is friendly and is into like some kind of sports. So Charlie has a little crush on Nick, and they both become friends quite easily. And it's their story. It talks about like friendship, friendship goals. It talks about all those challenges one face when they comes out of their identity. And I totally enjoy the first three volumes, as I've said, and I'm looking forward to this volume four. So if you are into like, it's not a recommendation video, but still, if you are into feel good novels, if you are into feel good books, if you are into like graphic novels, then do pick it up. Well, the next book in this list is Sugi Bane by Douglas Stewart, and this is the book that I got in Feb from Amazon and this is one of those authors who are part of JLF 2021 as well and I was looking forward to read this book from March 2021 like I got it in Feb and I wanted to read it as soon as possible but it got delayed and I thought it's the perfect time now let's pick it and read and give it a sort so this is one of those books which follows a boy named Sugi Bain who is alone living alone with his mother he like he used to drink a lot and that's the reason majority of his siblings actually left Sugi with her mother and she's one of those persons who is having a different persona altogether and don't know much about this book more than that and it's a Booker's Prize winner as you can see over here 2020 Booker's Prize so I'm pretty excited for it let's see what's in it for me and this is my second pick for the month which is Sugi Bain by Douglas Stewart revolving around Pride and Pride Month so let's jump on to the next one well, the third book in this list is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which follows a 16-year-old kid whose privacy is being compromised. I believe his email is being hacked and he's not really open with people about his identity and the blackmailer is like blackmailing him for the same reason and that is quite evident by the name of this book Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda because it seems like a case name to me because I am a common student and we have read too many cases in business law, corporate law, in industrial relation and all those things so that used to have like a person name versus person name so that's the similar case over here believe this will be his battle with that blackmailer is trying to compromise his privacy and all those things so i'm pretty excited for this book there's a movie on it as well and i believe majority of the people have already read this book or maybe have read or maybe have seen the movie so let's see what's in it for me and it's a popular book that is pretty famous and i'm pretty excited for the same so that was my third pick for the month simon versus the homo sapiens agenda it is my third pick well the next book in this list is red white and royal blue by casey mcquiston and this is one of those books i believe i got from flipkart last year and i was looking forward to the same from that long so this book actually follows two characters named alex and henry i believe alex is the son of united states like president of the united states and henry is the prince of british empire so it's an interesting plot it's an interesting like theme and i totally enjoyed and loved a little bit after reading the blurb behind the back of this book so it follows these two characters who had a row at the very start of this book but later they got into some kind of a romance and it involves politics on a larger scale like i enjoy books with politics in it like mainly books like fantasy be it george R. R. martin be it brandon sanderson i enjoy politics in books that revolves around all those characters so it's a fiction book and it's a different kind of a theme altogether and different kind of a story altogether haven't actually heard of such kind of a theme in long time and it's an interesting one well let's see what's in it for me but i totally enjoyed the blurb of the same and you can read it too so that was the book i wanted to say with you all it's the fourth in this list it's a physical copy and again it says red white and royal blue by casey mcquiston by the way i totally love this cover just look at it 
Well, the next book is Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. And again, it's a long name and it's one of those books that I wanted to read from so long. And it follows two characters named Aristotle and Dante. Aristotle is someone who is like angry with the world because his brother is in prison. I hope I got that right. And Dante is having an unusual way, unusual like lens to look at the world around him and what happens when these two guys, those two boys actually get around each other and fall in love. So this is one of those books I was looking forward to read from so long and I'm pretty excited for the same because it's again one of those famous ones and I hope I like it. So this was my first like pick in this list and it's an ebook. I'll be reading it on my Kindle. So let's jump on to the next one, which is a physical copy. Well, I think you may have noticed the gap over here in the transition. So the book is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Senon. Again, this is one of those books which revolves around Pride and Pride Month. So I thought let's pick it up and I already started reading this one. Like you can see my progress over here. I started reading this one when this book got released and I received it and I never continued it. As I've said, I read almost like 80 pages and I'm pretty excited for the same a TBR without fantasy books is not a TBR for me and this is the fantasy book I picked for this month and I'm pretty excited for the same. It follows a lot many dragons as you can see over here and it follows a lot many warriors at the same time and it's a battle between west and east. So I'm pretty excited for the same. It's my first book by Samantha Senon and importantly it's a standalone that is like the best part like I enjoy series but again standalone helps a lot because you don't have to wait for the next installment. So this is the next book that I picked. This is the sixth in number and it's the third physical copy I showed you in this video. So this is the Priory of the Orange Tree and I totally love this cover as you can see and it's a fantasy revolves around Pride and Pride Month. So this is my sixth pick and those were my all the Pride picks that I wanted to read in this month. Let's talk about the next two books that are just random picks and uh, let's start now. Well, let's quickly see the next two books in the list. And the first one is Marriage by John Gwine. I believe I'll be having a read along for the same in this month. And I want to read this book with you all and you will be finding like details for the same, a video for the same real soon. So be on a lookout for the same. And I've already like had a poll on my channel about the same, like uh, this read along and all those things. So we'll be pretty much reading this one with you all and we'll be having a discussion towards the end of the month, be it in a live session or in our discussion review or a post so let's see what we'll be doing this is the first book that i want to read in this month and the next one is stephen king's lise story the reason is pretty simple to pick this one there's a series releasing on i believe on 4th june around this book around this book by stephen king so i'm pretty excited for the same now i picked so many books in this month and i am not exactly sure if i can pull it off like last month i read seven books but still I am like hopeful I can pull off these like eight picks for this month but I'm pretty positive that I can finish five to six books in this month even though I have like examinations in this week like two weeks will be going towards my examination in this month hopefully they will not be postponed again so these are the six uh, I believe eight books that I wanted to share with you all and these are the final two picks in this list that are not related to pride or pride theme and I'm pretty excited for all these books like uh, to read them so that was my list of eight books that i want to read in june and this was my tbr well i said with you all my list for this month and this was my june tbr i just hope you liked it if you have read any of these picks if you have read any of these books then do comment down below and let me know and do let me know what all books you are planning to read in june it's the pride month do let me know if you are picking any book revolving around that theme so that was all for this one i just hope you liked the video and if you did you can hit the like button you can comment down below and let me know your thoughts about the same you can share this video with your friends and family you can subscribe to my channel if not done already we'll be catching up real soon and that will be in a couple of days so that was all bye bye and stay healthy stay home stay safe and bye